A vacation, tropical drinks, poolside lounging, warm weather, or whatever it is that makes a vacation enjoyable for you, the idea is to get away from your typical home life. But that would mean also getting away from your video games. So you know what? Forget all of that. Vacation sucks. That is, unless you bring video games with you, which is very doable, and especially if we're talking about handhelds. Now, maybe the original Game Boy is going back a little too far for you, but think about this. When you're out in the sun floating around in the pool and you need a handheld device that you can actually see in the sun, those backlit devices are a no-go. But a Game Boy, the sun will just light that screen up like a beauty. Playing Tetris while floating around in a pool? Sign me up. Now, while handhelds are going to be your main option, you could bring a home console as well, though it is a lot more involved. For starters, you're going to need a TV wherever it is that you're going to be and access to it. Plus, I don't know about you, but I do not like packing a bunch of crap when I go somewhere. It just stresses me out having to lug it all around and manage all of it, make sure I don't lose anything or leave any of it behind but that's gonna depend on you and what you're comfortable with. Now, you may be thinking, well, if you're on a vacation though, aren't you gonna be doing other things? You're not gonna be having time to do video games, and even if you do have some downtime to play games, it might be rude to the people you're vacationing with to ignore them in order to play your games, depending on the situation. Like, say you go to visit your aunt and uncle, and they're like, oh, it's great to see you. How have you been? How are you doing? and you just respond, would you shut up already? I'm trying to catch a Pikachu here in my Pokemon game and I need my focus. But with that said, vacations often do have a lot of downtime in them, of which some of that downtime you may have to yourself or where the people around you are occupied with their own individual things. After all, the whole point of vacation is to have as few obligations as possible and the less obligations you have, the more likely you are to have some opportunities to have time to yourself to do whatever you want to do. And yeah, video games are one of those things for a lot of us. Plus, for a lot of you, I hear all the time that you barely have any time as it is to be able to play video games. So when you're on vacation and not working, that may be one of your best opportunities to finally be able to play some games. Another thing is that I know a lot of you may be going on vacation where where you're going has some sort of video game incentive in mind. For example, maybe you're going to a convention or maybe you're simply going to a town that has either an old arcade or some sort of game store that you want to check out. Or heck, maybe you're going to Japan where you just want to check out the import scene and pick up some imported video games while you're there. I mean, heck, something we've talked about all the time on this channel is how a big part of the hobby isn't necessarily necessarily playing the actual video games, it's all the other stuff surrounding it. Now, depending what you're doing on your vacation and who you're with, you may be able to do a good job of integrating video games into the vacation. And one of the biggest ways you could do this is by playing games with the other people that you're with. One of the biggest challenges I've found and that I've heard from a lot of you with gaming as an adult is being able to play local multiplayer with people, which is just so much fun. I mean, as kids, we were with our friends friends all the time, so doing it wasn't a problem. But as adults, it can be harder. So if you're going to see somebody, and maybe you're going to see somebody who also loves video games that you don't see all the time, that could be a great opportunity to play some games with them, be in the same room, and just have that classic good old couch co-op fun. For example, every time I get to see my brother-in-law, who, by the way, watches this channel regularly, hi, Dan, uh, we get to play some sort of co-op game that I've just been wanting to play that I just haven't had the chance, and it's always an absolute blast getting to be able to finally play it with somebody. Okay, so I mentioned gaming as a kid, and when it comes to gaming as a kid, you can bet your money that we were going to be bringing our Game Boy or whatever handheld it was with us on 
on vacation. And the key thing that would make or break us was having enough batteries. As adults, sure, we can buy our own batteries, or honestly, if you're gonna be smart about it, just use rechargeable batteries. We didn't have rechargeable batteries back then. What a lifesaver that would have been to have those. Back then, if your batteries died, you were screwed for the rest of vacation. You had to bank on begging your parents to buy new batteries and they might just be like, Ugh, you're playing that thing so much that you're just drilling through all the batteries? No. All right, but now I want to bring up one more dynamic that I find to be pretty interesting. And that would be that when you get back from a vacation, how do you normally feel? feel. That's right, you usually feel kind of sad the vacation's over, but on the plus side for a lot of us, we get to come back to all of our games. And if you never had your games in the first place on the vacation, then you're getting to come back to all of your video games, and that can kind of lessen the sting of having to come back and be done with your vacation. Heck, I know for a lot of us, every single time you go into your game room or wherever your video games are, that that can feel like a vacation in itself. So you know what? Hey, that means I'm on vacation right now. Oh, and by the way, when I first mentioned that I'd be doing this topic, I noticed that one of you rascals wrote down in the comments something about, hey, what about vacation where your whole family goes on vacation except for you? Now, I haven't done that myself, but I would imagine it goes something like this. So you walk up to your family and you say, hey, family, guess what? We're all going to the Grand Canyon, except thing is, you're all going, but not me. <laughs> And they're like, why are you laughing? You're not going on vacation. And you respond, oh, but I am. Oh, but I am. All right, so that about does it for my thoughts, but of course I want to hear from all of you. When it comes to playing video games on vacation, whether it be in the literal sense or in the spiritual sense, I want to hear what some of your favorite memories are because I love hearing these kinds of stories. I feel like I can sort of absorb some of the joy you felt during those times because they just remind me so much of some of the memories that I have. So with that, please do leave your stories down below and I will see ya in the next video. He's the Red Trooper, yeah. And he's talking, talking about video games. He's the